Grade 8 math number 2.1D, quotient rule for dividing with exponents. I'm going to show you a few different ways that an exponent can be written with a base. In this way, this is very obviously the base, and that's the exponent. When you see them like this, with a coefficient and a variable and an exponent, the a is the base, not the 2. The a is the base, okay? When you see them in parentheses like this, the 2a is the base. So it, this exponent affects, affects all of this, okay? See that? In this one, the exponent only affects the base a, okay? It's a very, very big deal. All right, so the quotient rule for any non-zero real number a and any integers m and n, we'd have this. If you remember, fractions are little division problems. So if a to the m is over a to the n, it means we're going to subtract n from m, see, like that. It would be no different if it said a to the m divided by a to the n. See? Same thing. You subtract the exponents. You keep the base. This is when the bases are the same, okay? You keep the base and then subtract the exponents. In numbers, if it was 4 to the 6th power over 4 to the 4th power, you just subtract the 4 from the 6 and we get 4 to the 2nd power or 4 squared, see? All right, so I'm going to show you why this works. The quotient rule says to subtract exponents when they have the same base and the base isn't zero. So let's say we have 5 to the 6th power divided by 5 to the 5th power. It means 5 to the 6th power minus 5th power. That's going to leave a 1, and 5 to the 1st power is 5. This is how it worked. We're going to put this entire thing as if it were a fraction. So we get 5 to the 6th power, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, over 5 to the 5th power, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as you can see, this 5 canceled out that 5. See, the numerator and denominators cancel each other out as 1's. 5 over 5 equals a 1. So we've got 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So that's 5 1's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's five ones. If you were to do this multiplication, 1 times 1 is 1 times 1 is 1 times 1 is 1 times 1 is 1 times 5 is 5. And if you multiplied all these ones together, you'd have a 1. See what happened? You ended up with 5 over 1, which equals 5. See? 1, 5. See how that worked? I'll show you again. What if it's the other way, and we've got a smaller exponent on top? So 3 to the second power divided by 3 to the fifth power. Well, now we're going to get into negative exponents because 2 take away 5 is negative 3. And as we explained in a previous video, when we've got a negative exponent, you think fraction. You put it under the 1 as a fraction and take away the negative sign, and you get 1 over 3 to the 3rd power, which is 1 27th. So here's what's happening. You've got 3 to the 2nd power up here and 3 to the 5th power down here. This cancels out as a 1, and this cancels out as a 1. See? So now we've got 1 and 1 over each other. See? 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1, and times these leaves 3 to the 3rd power. 1, 2, 3. So it's 1 over 3 to the 3rd power. See how that happened? 1 27th. The numerators and denominators cancel out as 1's. 3 over 3 equals 1. Now what happens in a case like this when we've got a couple of negatives? Well, do you remember the rules? That when you subtract an integer, you add the opposite? All right, so we've got 5 to the negative 3rd take away negative 7. See? We add the opposite, so this 
subtraction sign is going to become a plus sign because we're adding the opposite. The opposite of a negative 7 is a positive 7. So we've got negative 3 plus 7. That gives us a positive 4. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, or 625. See? It's just adding the opposite. That's a rule that we learned last year. What if it's a positive number and then a negative number? So we've got q to the fifth power and q to the negative third, and we're dividing. So that's q to the fifth power minus negative 3. So because we're subtracting, we're going to add the opposite. It's going to become 5 plus 3. The negative, this minus sign becomes a plus sign, and the negative 3 becomes a positive 3. So it becomes q to the eighth power. See? Remember this from last year, from seventh grade. We add the opposite when we're subtracting integers, okay? So that's the quotient rule. That's why we subtract the exponents, and that's what's happening, all right? Remember what your bases are when you see a coefficient like a 2 in front of a variable. It's the variable that's the base. When they're in parentheses, the whole thing is the base, okay? And remember to add the opposite, all right? If this was helpful, please hit the like button. And don't forget I'm on Twitter, and if you want to support me, you can go to Patreon.com. I'll see you next video. We're going to talk about the negative exponent rule. Bye.